He tried to break into his crush's house. She pushed against the door with all her might, but he still reached his hand in and held her head firmly in his grip. She was no match for a man, so she kept calling for help. She tried to get the attention of the neighbors. Jack swung his fist in her face. She fell into a coma. When she woke up again, Jack was staring at her from her bedside. Emmy was lying next to him. This is a dream for Jack. He had been abandoned in an orphanage since he was a child. He was later hospitalized for mental problems. He tried to escape from the hospital, only to be recaptured each time. Emmy asks him who he really is. Jack hurriedly explained that he didn't mean any harm. He was just afraid that screaming would attract more people. That's why he knocked her out with one punch. He just didn't think he'd break Emmy's teeth. She warned the men to leave, or she'll call the police. Jack didn't take her warning seriously, seeing that he had no intention of leaving. Emmy grabbed the glass and smashed it at him. She tried to escape. Jack stepped forward and caught her in his arms. They were in an ambiguous position, but Jack just hugged her and didn't do anything. He told Emmy to go to her room. He told her to be careful of the glass on the floor. Emmy was curious about this man who barred into the room. She asks him what he wants. Jack immediately told him his feelings. He's been in love with her for a long time, but he had been locked up in a mental hospital. Until today, after the doctor's diagnosis in many aspects, Jack's mental state met the requirements before he was allowed to leave the hospital. On the bus, Jack overheard that Emmy is shooting a new movie nearby. He had the idea to visit the movie. He immediately went to the store and bought chocolates. Then he followed the address in the magazine to the movie set. He snuck into the dressing room when the crew wasn't looking. He put the chocolates full of love in Emmy's bag. Then he watched her shoot. He waited for her to leave work in silence. After waiting for Emmy, Jack wants to go up to her and confess his love. But Emmy thought he was an avid fan. He responded indifferently and drove away. Jack realizes that by pursuing Emmy in this way, it was useless. He had to follow her. Jack is convinced that by kidnapping Emmy and spending time with her, she would fall in love with him. He doesn't smoke or drink. He has $50.000 in savings. He will be a good husband and father in the future. Jack's speech didn't win Emmy's heart. She feels scared. She said to the mugger who broke into her house, If you like me, you can have sex with me quickly, in the face of the intruders. But she was able to say this calmly. He said he just wanted to be there for her. He didn't want to hurt her. After he confessed his love to Emmy, Jack began to visit the house. Emmy had just had her tooth broken by Jack. Now all she can do is hold an ice cube on a sore spot. She asks Jack to take her to the doctor. Jack was afraid she would not run away. Emmy had to beg and plead. She pandered to Jack. Jack can't resist but agrees. They stood in front of the mirror in disguise. Looking at them in the mirror, Jack said that they really looked like a couple while putting on the beard. But Emmy didn't think so. Fearing that Emmy would escape, Jack put handcuffs on them. He didn't uncuff them until the doctor's door. The doctor received them only. Emmy asked the doctor for help while Jack was away. She said Jack was a crazy person, but the doctor thought Emmy was in pain and had lost her mind. Before she can explain, Emmy saw Jack sitting with the two children in his hands. He threatened her silently. She didn't want to hurt an innocent person. Emmy gave up and asked the doctor for help. They went to the pharmacy with the doctor's prescription. They were told that the painkillers had been out of stock for a long time. Now only the black market can get this medicine. Jack had to take Emmy home and tie her to the bed. He went out to the black market to buy the medicine for her. When he was paying for it, he realized he didn't have enough money. So he grabbed the medicine from the drug dealer and pushes the drug dealer to the ground. But when she got home, she found Emmy already asleep. To make her sleep a little more comfortable, Jack carefully untied her from the rope. Then he lay beside her and stared at her. The girl he had been thinking about was lying next to him. Jack was satisfied, but soon Jack started to snore. At that moment Emmy quietly opened her eyes. So she was pretending to be asleep from the beginning. She watched Jack fall asleep. She slowly reached for the key on his waist. Just when she was about to get it, Jack suddenly rolled over. Emmy was shocked. Just when she thought she could continue, Jack made a sound. So he had been pretending to sleep. Jack was very angry. He didn't understand that he had brought his heart to Emmy, but she was always trying to escape from him. Jack was hurt by her, so he put the handcuffs back on Emmy's hands. He told Emmy that he would keep her by his side for the rest of his life until Emmy fell in love with him. Hearing this, Emmy is desperate. He takes out the rope. Emmy cooperates and lies down on the bed and lets him tie her up. To prevent Emmy from escaping, he used tape to seal Emmy's mouth. But the strange thing is, the robber didn't hurt her. He was kind enough to fix her leaky water pipes, prepares a good breakfast for her every day. He drew pictures for Emmy while she was sleeping. They were like a couple in love. Even the rope used to tie Emmy up every day was the softest one. He would open the skylight for him when he went out, so Emmy can look at the stars while waiting for him to come back. Jack's actions, what he thought were love, 
In Emmy's view, it is a disguised imprisonment. She was deprived of her freedom, and she was furious. She tried to provoke Jack with her words. She said in anger, she would never fall in love with him. Unexpectedly, that her Jack, he cried in anguish, because his family couldn't contact Emmy. His sister was worried that something had happened to her, so she came to her house to check the situation. When no one answered, she slipped a letter through the door. When Jack came back, he found a letter that said, if Emmy didn't call home again, she would call the police. Jack panicked. He threatened Emmy with a knife and told her to call her family to report the incident. Emmy had to tell his mother. She was on a vacation and told her not to worry. She also hinted that she was in danger. But her mother didn't even hear it. She just told her to be safe. Then she hung up the phone. That day, Emmy's medication ran out. Jack tied her to the bed and went out to buy medicine. But he ran into a drug dealer. He was taken to the alley and beaten up. Emmy saw Jack leaving the house. She took out her hidden lighter and burned the rope on her hand. She ran for the door but found it locked by Jack. She searched the whole house but couldn't find the key to open the door. At that moment Jack came back, Emmy hurriedly tied the rope back to her hands. When everything remained the same, she saw Jack's face full of injuries when he walked in. Emmy was stunned. She asked him what had happened. Jack did not care about the injuries on his body. The first thing he did was untie Emmy. He apologized to her for not being able to buy the medicine. Looking at Jack, who was covered in bruises, Emmy painfully wiped his wounds. Jack looked at them in the mirror. He knew she fell in love with him. Their feelings are heating up. Emmy knew she was in love although Jack restricted her freedom, but he never forced her to do anything she didn't like. They began to spend time together as a couple. Until this day, the visit of her sister disturbed them. She opened the door with the key. Jack reflexively covered Emmy's mouth. Then, he hid in the room. Sister only came to water the flowers and left in a hurry afterwards, fearing that Jack's identity would be discovered by the family. Emmy persuaded him to take her to elope. Now Jack wants to go out to borrow a car. Emmy took the initiative to put tape on her mouth. She reached out and asked Jack to tie her to the bed. She shows her true feelings for Jack by doing so. Jack left the door, but his sister suddenly came back. Emmy's voice attracted her sister's attention. When she entered the house, she found Emmy tied to the bed and immediately rescued her. After hearing what she had been through in the past few days, she wanted to take Emmy home. But then Emmy didn't want to. She found out that she had fallen in love with Jack. The sister was very confused. She thought Emmy was sick. She fell in love with the kidnapper. She tracks Emmy out of the house. But Emmy can't let go of Jack. She begs her sister to take her to meet him. They hug each other. Emmy made her feelings known to him. She introduced Jack to her sister. Since then, they lived a happy life together. The ending of the film is really a bit unbelievable. Emmy is a typical Stockholm Syndrome. She falls in love with Jack and develops feelings for him. We can only send our best wishes for this marriage. Well, we will see you next time.